Hello, I'm John Walker Dean. I'm a business development manager for the East Midlands office of Interserve. I'm sitting here today in our new Passive House office, which is the first zero carbon Passive House office in the UK. The Passive House idea came from this architect's talk that we had at our conference where this was obviously the way that we needed to go to save our money. So the principles of Passive House are um, a very, very sort of highly insulated building. A building that, because of its air tightness and insulation, requires only minimal amounts of energy to heat it and run your computers and your equipment. We're now sort of approaching the end of November. Uh, we have not used a watt of energy to heat this building since we moved in at the end of August. There are not many people who can say they haven't had their heating on at home yet this year. And I think that's a sort of real accolade for the quality of the insulation. The heating is uh, almost entirely from air and recycling that air, extracting the, uh, the, the heat out of it. In the middle of winter, it will go through what we call the rehow tubes, which are some plastic pipes buried underneath the car park. Through those tubes, the air is heated up, probably by about five or six degrees. So it's entering the actual building, or it's entering the air plant, at warmer than the ambient temperature outside. In the middle of summer, the air in the tube sacks, as a cooling. So it's like a free air conditioning plant to a certain extent. When it goes into the heat exchange unit in the um, uh, air plant down below, there is a plate there that can either extract the heat or it can sort of uh, extract the cold out of it. So your air, which is being recycled, is evacuated out of the building, but it's had the heat removed from it before it goes out. And it's something like 85% efficient in the uh, extraction of that heat. So we need very, very little heat to heat the building. You'll notice we've got the odd radiators better. And we, the radiators will only come on because we're in an isolated room here at the moment, but it'll need to get to a very, very low temperature before it'll kick in. Passive House originally was intended, as it says, for houses. The majority of the buildings in the UK at the moment have been residential properties. I think in this one we've shown that commercially they work very, very well, and obviously they're a lot bigger than the sort of residential schemes. We're currently doing the largest passive house school in the country, which is about £10 million, and uh, that one is due to open late summer of 2012. Since we opened up here, we've been holding regular seminars on our passive house story. And it's amazing the interest that's been shown. So there are some big, big savings to be made that make this, you know, commercial sense, quite honestly.